hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add dashboard to home page here in salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce I want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go adding a dashboard to the Salesforce homepage provides numerous benefits although it's a straightforward process it can enhance the user experience productivity and decision-making once you're logged into your account I want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the setup now from here on the quick find option, I want you to type in the lightning app. That's going to be the lightning app builder. Click on it. And as you can see, the lightning app builder provides an easy to use graphical interface for creating custom lightning pages for Salesforce lightning experience and mobile app. And that includes creating a customized view for the dashboard. Once you are here, I want you to click on the new button. You would be forwarded here in the uh, first way for you to create a new lightning page would you like to have a an app page for lightning experience and the mobile app is it going to be a, the home page is it going to be a, the a forecasts page record page or email application pane so depending on how you wanted to set up your dashboard okay now i'm gonna go to the app page for now and click on next and I'm going to put in maybe a label something like now you see you have multiple options here you can put in the header and left side bar you can use the header and right side bar which of course you have like a real-time uh, feedback here you have the head header and three regions header and two regions main region and sidebar one region three regions and two regions so uh it's all depends on your preferences and your goals for now i'm gonna choose uh, the uh, first one here i click on ok and once i've done that you see you can drag components into regions to customize your page and that is gonna be how you would like to have this dashboard you see this option right here you can put in the dashboard all right you can add components here for example you can insert and click component in the components panel right you can put a chatter here you can put in your dashboard you can put in the uh all the information for example open refresh and subscribe now on the set component visibility you would notice that you can add a filter right you can select a field that you wanted for example, it's going to be um, device. All right. And then click on form factor. So for example, this. Click on done. And you would have to engage to another like a marketing dashboard here on your Lightning App Builder. All right. After that, you see your dashboard looks like a little bit um creative. All right, it looks dynamic. You can add more information here by dragging and dropping all the uh, elements on the left side panel of your dashboard. And do not be afraid because on the dashboard you can put in the tableau, visual force. All right. You can add so many components here on your dashboard. This is one of the best way in creating a dashboard here using the lightning app builder i've done this in the past and you see you have like uh, multiple options for view you have the phone just wait for it you have the tablet part portrait that's going to be the orientation see that it takes a little while right on the uh, tablet landscape And then of course you have the option for the desktop 
You see that? Now, dashboards can be used to monitor key activities and performance metrics in real time, allowing for timely interventions and adjustments. You can set up dashboards to display alerts or notifications related to critical metrics or thresholds, ensuring prompt responses. Not only that, dashboards on the homepage facilitate sharing of important data with team members, promoting collaboration, and alignment on goals. Once you are happy with this Lightning App Builder that you have created, I want you to click on Save. Now, once you have saved your dashboard on the Lightning App, when you revert it back to the homepage, you might want to click on the uh, Setup again. And this time on the upper left corner on the Quick Find, you might want to type in Dashboard. You see, you have multiple options for the analytics, reports and dashboards. Click that. For example, you're going for the reports and dashboard settings. I want you to click on it because here you can have more control over the how you wanted your user interface settings. You can modify the behavior of the user interface for report and dashboard pages using the following pay, um, settings. You can enable floating report headers. That is going to be useful for Salesforce Classic only. If you wanted to enable the dashboard finder, or if you wanted to hide the options to export a report in XLS format in Lightning Experience, you can also do that. You can also enable inline editing and in reports, or enable org-wide email address for report subscription, which is of course set to none. In terms of the confidential information disclaimer settings, you can exclude disclaimer from formatted report exports lightning experience or maybe you wanted to choose the second one which is going to be excluding disclaimer from report run pages and from printable view pages for example which is only available on the salesforce classic only you also have the option for the chatter options you can enable dashboard component snapshots or show preview thumbnails for lightning reports and dashboards or enable the unified experience for analytics homes once you have uh, set up your dashboards you might want to click on save all right now this is going to be the interface of your dashboard which you have done earlier now it facilitates sharing of important data with team members promoting collaboration and alignment on goals now if you're working with multiple freelancers and clients, teams can now access the same dashboard, ensuring everyone is on the same page regarding the performance and objectives. Dashboards can be customized to display different types of data or visualizations based on the user needs, making them adaptable to various business requirements. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.